We're excited about today, but it's kind of a weird day, right? Because last weekend, it just wasn't a good one for Texas or for Oklahoma. I mean, the Longhorns, they escaped in overtime the previous weekend. They were down 15 against Texas Tech. They weren't as lucky, though, against TCU. Max Duggan, 310 total yards, gave the Horn Frogs a late lead. Sam Ellinger drove them down to the one, but Keontae Ingram fumbled, and that was that as Texas loses that one. Then it's Oklahoma. Look, they were trying to avoid a second straight defeat, guys. They visited Iowa State, but more defensive issues. Their first loss in Ames since 1960. They led by seven with eight minutes to go. Brock Purdy, Brees Hall sparked the Cyclones' comeback. Spencer Rattler, this pick in the end zone, and that would be that. OU has lost two in a row. So obviously both teams, well, they're letting up too many points. That's a big issue. They're also turning it over. And being plagued by missed tackles. So that's quite the cocktail, Reggie Bush. I mean, yeah. what is going on defensively? This has not been good. It has not been good. And, and ultimately what it com comes down to is Alex Grinch has to do a better job at putting his players in positions to succeed. Uh, there's a couple of times where he's making bad calls or it's just a bad, or it's just a wrong time. And let me show you what I'm talking about exactly. Um, two weeks ago against K-State, we got eight defenders in the box. This is third and 18. Corners are impressed man coverage on third and 18 all you're trying to do is get off the football field uh this is the wrong call and wrong timing following week now first and 10 same exact situation this time eight guys in the box safeties are biting on a pretty bad fake if i'm being honest again six points as a result this time same exact defense this time they get it right first and 10 it's a run play now we've got unblocked defenders missing tackles linebackers and safeties getting knocked back five to seven yards and Brady, you know how tough it is to win football games like that. So the thing that I see here is a, is a breakdown in understanding situational football. No, there's no doubt about it. In one of those instances, you know, when Brees Hall ended up breaking out, or they had completed a big pass, Brees Hall only had 60 yards yeah. up to that point in the game. So they really did need to load the box mm -hmm. to stop the run. It really didn't make much sense. But it's situational awareness. And then the other thing is being able to make those adjustments in game. That is such an important thing for all football teams. And as we look at this tape, one thing that came up versus Iowa State was every time they motioned to a three-by-one set, look at that cushion you see over the slot. That was the targeted receiver time and time again. Here, once again, and Matt, you and I both know. Stealing. We're, it's stealing. We're looking for weaknesses within the defense. This was a reoccurring theme in this matchup. It was something that Iowa State went, went to for easy completions, easy first downs to continue drives. That's where, if you're Alex Grinch, you got to figure out a way to make adjustments in game, get your players on board, and be able to execute. Mm -hmm. And that's just something we're not seeing right now. On the flip side with Texas, you know, look, their defense has struggled. We saw the number of missed tackles. Clearly, that's, that's a fundamental thing. But it's an easy fix, in my opinion. I think when you look at the tape, one thing last week versus TCU they did was it's a box count. Coach, you always talk about it's a numbers game. You have six defenders, but with the five blockers, a quarterback, and a running back, that's seven players. That means you're a man short. So someone's either going to be responsible for the quarterback or the running back. You can't be responsible for both. And that's where a lot of those gashes and runs came from where TCU was effective. So for Chris Ash and, and the Texas defense, it's an easy fix. Yeah. You got to put an extra defender in the box to stop the run. We'll hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here. College football on Fox.